<laughs> She's soaking wet. Sizzling. They're running sweet. Best part about this old girl, Dave? Is it don't run? It's flooded probably, or wet. Okay, let her sit. We got a little bit of life left in those snow tires. That's why it's doing so good compared to the Chevy Yak. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, take her back to the barn. We'll pinch off the brake line. No brakes now. We need brakes! Oh, idle's perfect. Even after getting washed. Oh, and it made it back. Well, she passed initiation at Dave's farm. She's farm tested tough. Whoever thought this thing was a piece of hanky is wrong. This is a cool car. It's got lots of life left in it. We just got to pull back and tighten up the belt I just put on. It got a little stretched already, you know. What do you expect? Didn't even break it in yet. Okay, damage report. Get that hood open. Lincoln's locked up. Is the belt still on? Yeah. Yeah, we're all set. I got to jack it up to crawl underneath to loosen the pivot bolt. Okay, time to fix the brake line that's leaking. Safety first, you wouldn't want to crawl underneath a car that's hanging in the air. Let's do it! Come on, don't be afraid to tickle it! It doesn't roll all the way over. We might scratch the rust, I mean, scratch the paint. I think he's scared. Oh, now he's going to scratch the rust proofing off the floor. There you go! Now we can do a redneck repair. Good job! Cool. Just like the day it was new. Now that was a derby car, you'd have the transmission out in 20 minutes. New one put in, away you go. Yep. Okay. We saw the leak on the rear axle. Oh yeah, that's where it was. So, okay, now that's, we got to find a clean spot someplace on the brake line from front to rear to pinch it off, and it doesn't look too clean. Looks like you drove through diarrhea. Well, it's clean right here. There we go. We that's a clean it. spot right there. Yeah, just coming out of the proportioning valve. Alrighty, I'll go get the vice grips and the pliers, and I'll show you how to redneck rig your car for no rear brakes, because that's more fun at Dave's Farm, because then you can do you know, drive-by burnouts, sit there, stop and smoke the tires, and the brakes aren't stealing any of your power from the rear end when you're doing that. <laughs> Looks really dead from this side. That's got a lot of surface area. Maybe we should paint a flag on it or something. Good. We're going to use the double fold technique on the brake line, so you have to snip it off on a nice clean spot. Watch it, you're twisting it a whole lot. It's a little bit weak there. So you rock it this way. No, no, this... There, I tell you, rocket when the line is weak. Alrighty. Now bend it down carefully. That's, that's enough. Now you pinch it back about one and a half inches or thereabouts, or maybe even one inch sometimes, till it's flat. Just keep re, re squishing it, re squishing it. You'll have to do it in like two stages. 
He's a derby driver, so he ought to know. <laughs> flipping cars over like this. And I guess that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> she did a year ago, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to take your place and show her how it's good this year. Yeah. I guess you're not putting out this year. <laughs> um, we just discovered why the car is sitting out so low. Remove that mysterious appendage. Spring Ouch. anyone? Yeah. <laughs> Jerry Springer? Eat your heart out. Eat your heart out. <laughs> oh well. She was free. Nose ring? <laughs> now we got her triple bent. You can sometimes double bend them. And now you use always the bigger hammer on the back side and you whack it. But if you whack it too many times, it actually splits it. So that's probably good. That's why you triple bend it in case you accidentally go over Now we got to go add some brake fluid and we're back in business. Oh, ooh. We're leaking some engine oil. Ooh, oh, some of it's touching the ground. Don't tell Al Gore. Okay, now to see if she starts when we flip her back over. Guess what? Doesn't scratch that vinyl roof. Probably the best part of the car. Perfect. Now let's see if she starts. What a car! Cool! Still a bit flooded. Success! Now we gotta add brake fluid. 